Welcome to another TVE course. This is your instructor Alex Voss and I'm very happy to have you here for another course. Today's course is called Building the $50 Computer. If you look on the internet there's lots of people that talk about building game computers and computers that usually run a lot of money to build. In this case I'm trying to show you how to build an inexpensive good computer for like your kids or if you just needed one for basic use. Even though the one I'm going to show you to build today is oh, mostly pre-built and uh, sort of a shortcut around spending a lot of money and still getting a really good computer. The computer that I got here is a Dell computer. I bought this Dell at a um, store that uh, resells computers and you know about every two years lots of businesses get rid of their old computer and then they'll buy new computers and well the old computers will go to charities and so forth. Usually, or in many cases, the hard drive's gone and you have to work on it to get it working again. I bought this uh, computer, this Dell computer, at a place called Computer Works in Dallas, but uh, Goodwill and Salvation Army have all kinds of these that they're getting from businesses that are getting rid of their two-year-old computers and replacing them with new. I bought this computer for $25 and the only thing it's missing is a hard drive and uh, I took it outside and I blew the dust out of it, got it cleaned up and the first step to working on this computer of course is taking it apart where you can get into it and so there's a little handle on most Dells or you have to look for your particular kind of computer and we've got the, the top off of the computer or the side off of the computer and then in this particular computer, but different computers are different ways. Some of them have hard drives mounted above or below or around the power supply or different locations. You can always look on the uh, YouTube on YouTube and find exactly how to take apart your computer. To it, and so first thing I want to do is take loose the two wires going on the back here, and then pull up on that. There's a little latch here, right here, and I'll just pull. This is a DVD uh, unit, and I'm going to pull it toward the back, and then I'll bring it up and out of the computer. The next thing I want to do is pull the wires off the back of the floppy disk, and again, once the wires are disconnected, lift up on that and bring that out. Now it's unusual for a computer this new to have a floppy disk but whoever uh, ordered this ordered it with a floppy disk but this is a newer computer with a floppy disk in it. I don't know if you'll ever use it. And that exposes the drive bay in this computer. And so I can mount my drive in here and then bring the computer on back to working condition. So I went and bought a hard drive for this computer. I spent $25 buying the uh, computer and then I spent another $30 actually $30 getting the hard drive but this hard drive has a rebate on it so I'm going to end up spending like uh, $22. And of course they make them where they're hard to get the uh, packages apart in nowadays. You have to be real careful with that. So here's the package. It's a um, Toshiba 500 gig and I bought it with a rebate so I got a really good deal. So I'm going to have to cut it out of the package which may be the hardest thing to do. Let's see. Ah, I don't want to come apart. So we'll have to take some scissors to it. Now lots of times you have to be real careful when you're cutting these apart because you can cut yourself with this plastic and also sometimes they'll have paper. What you think you're cutting paperwork but you're not cutting paperwork you're cutting up a floppy disk or something you need to do the install with. Well I finally extracted the hard drive from its sales container and that's probably one of the hardest things about this is getting it out of this container. <coughs> it's in a sealed bag that's electrostatic and moisture proof and you can open that up 
by, by looking for this little serration here and just tearing it. Okay. And so that exposes the hard drive and I'm going to put my hand here on this so that I build up static neutrality, like, you know, electric static charge neutrality between the computer and the new hard drive. Sometimes you can wear a little wristband and a little wire with an alligator clip that will help you with your static. But in this case, it's not necessary. Okay, now here is, uh, because I'm touching it, and uh, so here's the power connector for this. So I'm going to plug that in here. So there's that, and that connects. This is a SATA hard drive. And then I'm going to find the other part of the SATA connector, which is actually the power. This is the data, and this is the power right here. They both have to be plugged in. Sometimes you don't have to plug them both in, but in this case it does. And so this will then sit down in this little plastic tray. And that will lock it in. See? So the wire's in. Okay. I've got that all connected. And I'm going to fold these wires back. I'm going to get my floppy. But before I put my floppy in, I want to uh, connect the wire to it. So it's a lot easier to connect the wires with the floppy uh, out of the housing than with it in. And so I'm going to connect both these wires. One's power, one's data. And then I'm going to put this back in, drop it down, and slide it forward. And slide it forward and it locks in place. Okay. Then we're going to put our CD-ROM in. Again, we want to put our power connector on and our IDE connector on before we slide it in there because it's a lot easier to put the connector on before you put it in the, uh, the housing here. Slide that in. Making sure all the wires are out from underneath it. You don't want any wires under it. I'm moving this one around and out of the way here. Okay. Lighten that up and locking it in. Making sure all the wires are down out of the way when we put the lid on. Notice it's already got RAM in it. Everything looks clean, neat. Everything's plugged in good. You want to check everything before you put the back back on it or the side back on it. Okay, so that's all in there now. I'm going to get the back back on. Putting that in. Sliding it in right here and then down and it's sealed back up. So now we're going to go to the next steps which is actually what do we do with the computer uh, to set it up once we've installed a new hard drive and it's a, a computer with no operating system we're going to have to put an operating system in it to make it work. So let's uh, continue that in just a little bit.